Should a 25-year-old contribute to an IRA? Yes. Oh, did you want more than that? Of course you should. But there's a lot of things you should do. Call your mother, send thank you notes, pay your taxes early. Wait, speaking of taxes, if you're over 18, not a student, no longer a dependent on your parents' tax return, by contributing to an IRA, you may qualify for the Federal Savers Credit. If you make less than $29,500 a year, you would probably qualify for a credit of 10% of whatever you put in the IRA. Let's make some assumptions. You're 25, single, make $29,000 a year, and you don't have a retirement plan at work. If you have a retirement plan at work, max it out. If you can't, at least put in as much as it takes to get the employer match. Let's also assume that you're able to save $2,000 without eating ramen every night. You could contribute up to $5,500 to an IRA each year, but let's be realistic about what you could save without killing your social life. At an income level of $29,000, that's a $200 bigger tax refund, which is the equivalent of Uncle Sam making $200 of that IRA contribution for you. Assume that your IRA will earn at a 5% rate from age 25 to age 60. With annual compounding, that original $2,000 you put in will be somewhere around $11,000. If you kept up that rate of saving, just $2,000 a year, you'd retire with over $190,000 in the bank. Next time we'll talk about Roth versus traditional IRAs. Now go call your mother.